Hey all noons here, welcome back to Noons Airport and RC and welcome to part one of our assembly video of our LX models B25 available at Banana Hobby. So let's get to it. All right, first thing we're gonna do to start off the empennage is we're gonna grab our horizontal stab. And next, we're gonna need two back plates, two control horns, and we're gonna also need 1.7 millimeter by 22 millimeter screws and 1.7 millimeter by 20 millimeter screws. Well, now when we're inserting these control horns, the longer screws go through the thicker part. Next, we're gonna go ahead and take our control horn. We're gonna go ahead and install it and push it down flush. And we're gonna use the 22 millimeter screw on the thicker part of the elevator and the 20 millimeter on the thinner part. And when I tighten the screws, I just make the screws flush with this back plate and it goes ahead and it holds it on nice and sturdy without squishing the foam. Now that we got both our control horns done on our horizontal stab, we're going to move to our vertical stabilizers and get those done. We got our two vertical stabilizers, we got our two back plates, we got our two control horns. And you're going to need the 1.7 millimeter by 15 millimeter screws and the 1.7 millimeter by 18 millimeter screws. When installing these on the vertical stabilizer, the 18 millimeter are going to go on the thicker side and the 15 millimeter are going to go on the trailing edge, which is the thinner side. Same thing, go ahead and insert the screws till they're flush with the back of the back plate and we'll be back. Now that we got all our control surfaces already with our control horns. Now it's time to mount our vertical stabilizers onto our horizontal stabilizer. And to do that, we're gonna need the three millimeter by 35 millimeter. There's two of them in the bag that we're gonna need to accomplish the next task. Next, you're gonna go ahead and get your vertical stabilizer and right around here you'll see that there's a square piece of plastic and if you feel with your finger you'll feel a little indent and if you push down there you'll see how it busts that is for your screw to go ahead and go through there all right next on the horizontal stabilizer the screw is going to go through the vertical fin through this channel right into here and if you hear that it's metal it's actually a metal thread that's in here so my advice is when you're putting this through right through here right when you get right about right here throw some blue loctite right on this screw before you screw it in that way you don't get any vibrations or this thing accidentally backing out in the manual it calls out to put a few dabs of glue here and here and same thing on the other side I guess is a backup, but if you do the Loctite and you check this, you should be good to go. Okay, this looks pretty straightforward. We're going to take our horizontal stab. We're going to take this guy. Like I said, in the manual, it wanted you to put glue right here, but I think we'll be pretty good without it. So we got it in there pretty snug. And as you can see, you can still see in that channel, we're going to take our screw. We're going to feed it through, and there it is. We're going to take our toothpick, break the tip, all right, and get some blue Loctite in on that bad boy. All right, now we're going to go ahead and push her on in. And we're going to go ahead and tighten her up. And that's it. She's on there. We're going to do the same thing onto the other side and we'll be right back. So 
so far she's been going together very easy peasy uh, just screwing her together put in the control horns now we're going to get the rear end of the fuselage and we're going to get the empennage attached to it and feed the wires on through it so moving on to the next part we're going to be connecting our empennage to our rear fuselage section right over here and we got a few odds and ends we got to button up and we're going to need the following pieces we're going to need our control rods we're going to need the 60 millimeter for the rudder and the 82 uh, millimeter for the elevator we're also going to need the m4 by 60 millimeter screws this is what's going to go ahead and tie the opinosh from underneath i also have my servo tester and i have a little uh, battery over here and since we got this and when we put it together it's going to be more manageable we're going to go ahead and do all the zeroing on the control surfaces before we have a big old plane. So to start off, we're going to go ahead and put this thing off to the side. And we're going to work with our rear fuselage piece. So the first thing that I went ahead and I did is I cleaned up all the paint to bare foam. So when we had to glue this, we have good contact. Also, the little lines that are right here for these two servos. Go ahead and fish these out and you'll see that they are wide together right here. Go ahead and pull it all out. There's no keeper or anything so right now is a good time. I'm going to go ahead and put tape on over here and we'll be right back. So we're back. I already have my Y connectors already taped up. On the fuselage part I have it taped up. I went ahead and undid the wiring. And I ran it through the middle and got it out there. So that side's pretty much ready to go. On the empennage section, I do have my two Ys. I take it out of the bag and I got the two Ys taped and I have it stretched on through. So we'll do this on camera. Basically, we're gonna be taking this and feeding it through the rear part of the fuse. So now we're going to go ahead and take our empennage while pulling this back and we'll go ahead and it gets keyed right in there. She should be a nice tight fit. There we go. So now that we have the empennage fed through, we're going to go ahead and flip her over and make sure you don't push down too much so you crush the uh, vertical stabs. We're going to go ahead and remove this piece. We have two holes. That's for our M4 by 60 millimeter screws. We're going to go ahead and drop those right down in the hole. And we're going to tighten the empennage down. And we'll be right back. So as you can see, guys, it's going together very, very easily. Everything's a nice tight fit. Uh, I think I spent more time taking the tape off in the front uh, from everything that we've done so far. The bottom plate I still left off, went ahead and tightened everything down. Now we're going to go ahead and put on the control rods for the rudders and the elevators. And just remember, it's the 60 millimeter control rods for the rudder and the 82 millimeter for the elevator. And you can use your receiver, but I'm going to go ahead and use my servo tester. I'm going to do this off camera so I don't bore you. We'll be right back. So we're done setting up our zero on our control surfaces. As you can see, we have it nice and straight. Uh, it took me a little bit and we'll get to that, but I'll let you guys go ahead and see. I got both surfaces to my servo tester. So as you guys can see, got full range of motion and it returns back to zero with no issue. So before we move on to the next step, word to the wise. 
Okay, ladies and gentlemen, John's tip for the day. For your rudder surface, the control rod, the Z-Bend, you have to insert it from the outside. And if you already put in your vertical stabilizer, you'll have to do what I did, and you have to unscrew the servo, pull out, put it in, and do that. So if you're building this plane, save yourself a whole bunch of grief. Go ahead and put this in with the Z-Bend right here going like that. And you need this so it can articulate on the way out. If you don't, it won't be able to bend and you're going to overstress the servo. Go ahead and put the control rod for the servos in before you go ahead and put this on. And you'll have no issues. For the elevator, you can go ahead and put that in after installation. They went on with no problem. And as you can see, I got my shrink tubing for extra added security. So now that we got this all said and done, now let's go ahead and grab the front piece of the fuselage. All right, we have the front piece of the fuselage right up here. And the first thing we're gonna talk about is preparation to glue on the back right here. As you can see, I already pulled off all the paint because when we go ahead and we epoxy this, we want foam to foam gluing. Uh, I also cleaned off the inside over here. Your kit also came with uh, two of these uh, lights right here. This one right here is the longer of the two. This bad boy sits right up here. We're going to go ahead and glue that in using some contact cement. So let's get that done. All right, this is going to be pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and feed this wire right up here to our, what I'm going to call the receiver bay. And we're just going to go ahead and put some contact cement around here and push her in. Now to go ahead and assist in this, I got this little uh, cheater that I got with another kit that I'm going to go ahead and use to fish this forward. So let's go ahead and get that finished. We're going to drop this in here. Now we're going to go ahead to join the two pieces of the fuse together. So we got to go ahead and run this inside the plane up here to our receiver bay. And what I went ahead and I did is I taped these two pieces together. And I got this piece of string and this gives me some extra length. So when this is hanging out, in case this comes out, I got something I can fish it back out with. So again, I'm going to go ahead and use my cheater. I'm going to try and hook onto this to feed it through. Got that. Now let's mix up our epoxy. All right, for epoxy, I'm using Bob Smith Industries 30 minute epoxy. I got me an applicator brush, something to mix it with, and something to mix it in. So I'm going to go ahead and get this mixed for the uh, empennage section. And for this whole plane, you're going to probably go through a whole uh, bottle. Of epoxy don't be shy you don't want to run out or skimp out especially on these key spots so let's get some epoxy mixed up and I'll join you in the back of the plane
All right, y'all. We got her all glued. I got a piece of foam on the ground, and I'm going to go ahead and leave her sitting up like that on its nose and let gravity do the work. It sets in 30 minutes, but I'm going to go ahead. It's late, so I'll be back tomorrow. See you in the morning. All right, everybody. So for the next step, we're going to go ahead and mount our wing. That's basically got all the electronics already pre-installed in it. So as you can see off camera, I already went ahead and I stripped off as much paint as I can on the glue surfaces. Also on the wing, I went ahead and I pre-fit it and I drew some lines right here so I knew where I can go ahead and remove the tape. And all you gotta do is, it's keyed right here in the front. So you just go ahead and get her started. And just go ahead and drop in the back and she'll go ahead and settle right in. So you got the slip in the front and the slip in the back. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. Go ahead and remove the hub. And it is a tight fit, everybody. Real tight fit. right up to this slip and this slip right here. That's where we're gonna go ahead and pretty much put all our glue. We're gonna use a two part 30 minute epoxy to go ahead and set this in. So we're gonna go ahead and fast forward through this and get this thing set on. All right, y'all, as you can see, we went ahead and we got it done. And you can see that I ran out of epoxy. So don't be shy to go ahead and mix a lot. I totally underestimated it. So when you do this build, you're going to go through a whole bottle of these. So don't go sparingly like I did. Learn from my mistake. Now that we got this all said done, I'm going to go ahead and drop some weight. I got me a good old can of Reveille from the local PX to go ahead and help push that down right there. And we're gonna let this dry overnight. We'll see you tomorrow. And we're back the next day. We have the wing all nice and set in and glued in. We turned her around and shook her. We know she's glued in. Now the next part we're gonna go ahead and do is we're gonna go ahead and attach the Bombay uh, door assembly we got right here. And as you can see, this side right here is already uh, clean of paint. We went ahead and we stripped the paint off of this side and that side as best as we could. And as you can see, we already did the same over here, did on this end and all around. Now we're gonna go ahead and get our same 30 minute epoxy. We're gonna throw epoxy all around there and paying special attention to these surfaces right here because that's what's going to basically join the whole plane together. Now before you do all the gluing, uh, you know, you got to do all the preparing. The big old umbilical of cables, I went ahead and ran it through uh, the hole just like the manual stated and I ended up going out the top gunner's hatch as you'll see here in the video. 
that's going to be easier for me to go ahead and uh, sort through what's going to be for the receiver and what goes up into the battery bay. y'all oh i got a few uh epoxy prints here let me see if i can get those off i think i got enough epoxy in there as you guys can see i ran out again make more than what you need please i got everything in there now i'm gonna go ahead and pan out okay now that we got everything glued in as you can see, she likes to rise and the plane is flexing this way. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to go ahead and tuck in this little wire right there. Go ahead and close up that door. I'm going to get the epoxy off of my hands. And what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to flip the plane over. I'm going to get rid of the stand and we're going to set the plane right on here. And as you can see, my way of thinking, now that all the weight's sitting on the bomb, uh, the bomb bay door assembly, the plane's gonna go ahead and rest into its natural state. Now we're gonna go ahead and let this dry till tomorrow. All right, everybody, that's gonna go ahead and do it for part one, or these videos, they're just gonna get too long. We did all the major assembly and gluing on this model. Everything else is pretty much downhill from here. So stay tuned for part two where we go ahead, we move on to the electronics and button up this model and get her ready to fly. So stay tuned, noons out. Get some.